We're chilling with the Stockton Heat this week on Studio 209. Woo! Studio 209. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Eddie Ruiz here. We're at the Stockton Heat game, which is one team out of five in California that are part of the American Hockey League. And one of the best places to have fun in the 209 and catch a little hockey. For those of you that didn't know this, the Stockton Heat are the affiliate of the Calgary Flames team. The NHL team, that's crazy, a lot of stuff's happening. And this is their fourth season in Stockton, which is really cool. Holy hell! And that's how you score a goal! So I'm with Frankie the Bird, the, uh, the mascot of the Stockton Heat. So, um, you know, what's it like to, to be the mascot? Let him fight. This is hockey, man. Let him fight. So we're in the tunnel of Stockton Arena, and this is as behind the scenes as you can get. And why? Well, because we're about to interview a player. Yeah. I'm here with Rob Hamilton of the Stockton Heat, and you haven't been here very long, Rob. That's what I heard, right? You're kind of new to, to this area. So first off, tell me what it's like kind of living in the 209 so far for you. Um, I like it. I mean, I've been, uh, like I grew up in Canada, and I've been in uh, New England for the last five years at school and playing last year. and. This is uh, my first Christmas or winter with no snow and I get to go golf in December's and I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying that I must say. The boys here are great, they made me feel right at home and we have a, the ability to score a lot of goals so I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's it's exciting every night knowing that we could put up a bunch and we've had great goaltending so far too. I'll, like I'd say we have a, a pretty well-rounded team so there's there's a lot to be excited about. Talk to us a little bit about this whole autism awareness night, kind of, you know, how did that kind of come about and how is that kind of helping out the community and everything in general? Our biggest goal is to just to raise awareness. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing is when you can put a smile on kids' faces. Last year we had a puck dropper who dropped the puck and it looked like it was, you know, the happiest moment of his young life. We know that one game at the arena isn't going to change everything, but at least it's a start and it raises awareness. And I know that's what the Carlos Vieira Foundation is looking, um, you know, leaning towards us for as well. And so it's good to be able to help them out. It's good to raise awareness and yeah, I mean, it's a positive, a positive thing. Uh, and the entertainment and coming to hockey games is fun. So it's like, I think it's a good night out. Well, that does it for another episode of Studio 209. Thank you for watching. Eddie couldn't make it for this outro because he got sick. It turns out it was a little too cold in Stockton Arena for Eddie Ruiz. And you know what? I might be on the same track. That's why I'm all bundled up right now. But don't let the cold uh, dissuade you. Please go check out the Stockton Heat tomorrow night, January 4th, Autism Awareness Night. It's a fun time and it's a great cause, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Now, before we move forward with the rest of this outro, let's recognize our sponsor, the City of Turlock Municipal Services. Hey everyone, it's Tony from the City, here to remind you that the winter watering schedule starts on November 1st. That means that even-numbered addresses can only water on Saturdays and odd-numbered addresses on Sundays. And remember, no watering between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more information on the city's watering schedule or water conservation in general, visit the City of Turlock's website at www.cityofturlock.org. All right, Tony, well, thanks for that great information. If you guys like this episode and want to check out more just like it, check out studio209.tv and subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. You can also find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 209 Magazine. So until next week, I'm Frankie Tovar. We'll see you on Thursday.